displayed in a gallery event uh, in the evening of uh, the World Tourism. Members of the Fijian Host uh, Council, um, the Fijian Host Champions, ladies and gentlemen, Bulbanak, and a very good evening to you all. My sincere apologies for slightly being late, but getting from Suva to here is a bit difficult at the moment. Um, I'm actually delighted to be here this evening uh, to honor our Fijian hosts for their exceptional service and during the first half of this year. Um, these are outstanding individuals, ladies and gentlemen, that have been recognized for being a true Fijian and left a lasting impression, obviously, on our, on our visitors to our shores. And they are our champions. When it comes to champs, obviously, I take this time also to congratulate our victorious uh, Fijian rugby team, rugby sevens team, for winning the F Fiji's first, <laughs> first ever gold medal at the 2016 uh, Rio Olympic Games, a historical win for the nation and for the South Pacific. And I think all, you're all looking forward to them arriving on, on Sunday and the special celebrations that we have planned in Suva on, um, on Monday. Hopefully the weather holds up in Suva and here. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, this is a proud time for all of us Fijians and everyone who has Fiji at heart. And what I want everyone to remember from this is that the win did not come easy. Obviously, it's come, it required hours of training, determination, and obviously focus on the final goal. And there has been a commitment and discipline which has resulted in this historic win for Fiji and demonstrated our unique Fijian spirit to the world. And in that unique Fijian spirit was demonstrated not with just the win, it was the way that the uh, Princess Anne was afforded, uh, the respect that she deserves, and the song that they sung afterwards. And I think everybody's just woken up and realized how great and wonderful Fijian people are. This is a lesson we all need to learn and take to heart and be inspired to work together, committing our best in whatever we do. And the, this is, that is exactly the, vi the vision of this particular Fijian host program. And we have, through this program, nurtured and, in some cases, instilled the pride of being at the front line in terms of service providers and being the faces of Fiji. Obviously, this also falls in line with the, with the line that we actually you always use about our biggest asset in this country being our people. To our Fijian hosts, your role as frontliners at the Nandi International Airport is therefore very vitally important, and you are the first and the last impressions of Fiji, which could influence a guest to return to our shores, or better yet, to share their experiences with their families and their friends and entice them to come to Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, it's estimated that our visitor arrivals will increase in the near future, riding on the, on the fame and the wave of success that we've had with the Rugby Sevens. As a, following the epic win, Fiji has, has become the number one trending search on the internet. This is directly from the group Google. I call upon all the industry, uh, industry players to take advantage of this particular exposure to market, to market destination and brand Fiji. At this juncture, I also wish to acknowledge the excellent work of the tourism sector despite the setbacks caused by natural disasters earlier this year, I think it's fairly much forgotten by a lot of people in the industry, albeit still gelled together and managed to achieve the impossible. And the nation and the world thought that every sector of the economy will suffer the brunt of Cyclone Winston and will require time to recover. The tourism industry bounced back immediately. I take my hat off to the private sector also for the, uh, the hard work that was put in. The industry has not only surpassed the 2015 uh, quarter, quarter one visitor arrival numbers and earnings, but the performance in quarter one has been the best industry, or the best that the industry has experienced in the last decade. And total <coughs> earnings for, for quarter one 2016 increased by about 2.7, uh, 9.7% compared to 2015, arriving at about $340.9 million. While the total visitor, our visitor arrival stood at about 158,069 compared to 143,447 in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, coming back to today's event, I wish to thank each individual serving as our uh, frontliners for the excellent service and also reiterate my confidence in the Fijian host program. If we can bring 
in the culture of excellence at our major international airports, we can do the same in the entire tourism industry. We can only achieve this by working together. As you know, the Nadi International Airport is undergoing uh, massive renovations, which is shaping into a world-class international airport. And to complement this, the Fijian host program ensures that we deliver the world-class services that we actually know we can. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd also like to inform you that Fiji, with the rest of the world, will be celebrating World Tourism Day on the 27th of September this year. And this is a special day celebrated internationally every year with a particular theme that aims at creating global awareness on the importance of tourism. And this year the theme is Tourism for All, promoting universal accessibility. Accessible tourism is an ongoing effort in ensuring tourist destinations are able to provide products and services which enable people, regardless of physical limitations, age or nationality, to be able to enjoy our beautiful country um, equally. The Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen, and the Fijian tourism industry have already undertaken significant steps to ensure that everybody is able to enjoy Fiji. The products have been designed to serve the interests of all. Therefore, I want you to raise the awareness among the local communities of the importance of tourism and also its social and cultural and economic contribution to our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to create maximum awareness um, on what Fiji has to offer both domestically and on the international front, a number of events are being organized. Today I'm happy to, to launch the 2016 World Tourism Day Nationwide Photography Contest. This contest is open to the general public and aims to create, uh, generate awareness and entice creativity for this year's theme, which is Tourism for All, promoting universal accessibility. Those interested in, in participating uh, are required to uh, take a photograph uh, in Fiji that best depicts the theme, Tourism for All, promoting universal accessibility, and to post it onto our Fijian made uh, Facebook page terms and conditions for the competition can also be found on this page and, and the competition actually closes on the uh, 17th of September. Other events for, for World Tourism Day include the Tourism Fair at uh, Ratsukuna Park in Suva and an eventual, uh, eventually there will be a gallery event which will display the winning entries of the photographs uh, photographic competition. Ladies and gentlemen, let us continue to, uh, to lift the Fijian spirit and fly our Fijian flag high through our excellent customer service and provide our visitors the best experience as they arrive and depart from our shores. In concluding my statement today, I wish to reiterate my confidence in the Fijian host program and the continued partnership uh, between the Fijian government, the eight airport agencies and the wider tourism industry. I have no doubt that this particular initiative will continue with its success. I hope you all have a wonderful evening this evening. Thank you very much for that.